do what I do. Baby, what you wanna do? Shoot your shot, cause I'm bulletproof. Baby, what you wanna do? Baby, what you wanna do? I'm ready to pull up on you. Man, this I'm ready to do what I do. This drop's in heavy violence. That's when it feels to the highest. Drip, drip, drip when you slide in. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Helene. If you're new here, welcome. Ugh, I'm very nervous for this video, but I'm actually kind of excited. By the title, you can tell that I'm going to be dyeing my hair. I've never really dyed my hair by myself other than I try to do like the wolf, not wolf, um, the skunk stripe in the front. I didn't like it really. So then I just put box dye in it. It faded to like a Actually, it's grown out, pretty much grown out. In honor of fall season, I'm going to be dyeing my hair a uh, fall color. I'm going to be dyeing it a copper ginger color. If I find pictures, well, actually, I have a whole bunch of pictures. I was, like, reading through this and trying to see if I need to wash my hair. And it says, it says to actually use it on, where did I read it? Always apply hair color to dry unwashed hair immediately after mixing. I got three of these. I hope it's enough to dye my whole head. So sorry if you guys hear like my family talking in the back. Just ignore them. <laughs> or if you hear instruments, we have like an instrument, not an instrument room, uh, we have like a music room now. So um, so I just want to show you guys what I got real quick. I got 10 developer, ion sensitive scalp 10 developer. And then I got three uh, L'Oreal high color highlights red copper i got three of them because the lady at sally's said they're really small yeah this is their size so i hope it's enough to cover my whole head and then i also don't have like any supplies so i got this little bowl and it comes a clip and it comes a little brush i think there's gloves in there too. it has this brush it's very small but this was like four dollars so it has the dyeing brush a clip why did they only give me one and i think this is gloves and then the cup for the dye you have to do it in like non-metallic non-metal plates and bowls and stuff i hope it comes out the way i want i'm gonna take out my hair we're gonna see what we're working with my hair there's a lot of gel on top and i'm sorry if you guys <laughs> relaxed my armpits so it's, it looks bad right now I'm fully grown out i don't know if you can tell but look it's very grown out so this is my hair. I kind of have a lot of hair. It's very thick. It's actually wet. I don't know if I have to dry it. The fact that there's just this in there, there's no gloves, no instructions. This is the 10. This actually smells good. Hopefully the 10 gets me to where I want. Oh, I kind of blow dried my hair a little bit, like in a bag. It was very um wet. I need to like, does it need to be dry dry or can it be damp? I'm gonna blow dry a little bit more just so it can be like good because I'm not trying to mess this up. So now it's like, um, oh, this is what I was talking about. You can see the like the pieces where I had bleached it. I bleached it and then I put brown box dye and then it faded to like this light brown. The lady said it won't take on my hair it's only gonna take on like natural hair but i feel like because it's light it should right because it's like lighter than my hair it should take i have to start from the bottom up because my roots are like the most healthiest so it's gonna take the easiest so i'm gonna do my roots like that's the last step i guess that i'm gonna do i'm gonna start with my ends work my way up and i'm going to like go back in and like redo my roots i'm trying to open this I need something to stab it. I'm so nervous, guys. It's very orange. Can you guys see? I hope I don't get the dye everywhere. I should put like a towel down. Ugh. Okay, I'm not a professional whatsoever. This is just to like record my experience, my journey, whatever. But don't take this video as an instructional video because I have no idea what I'm doing. Disclaimer, don't come for me if your hair doesn't come out right. Measure 2.4 fluid ounces of 30 or 40 developer. How much? I literally just read it and I forgot. 2.4 ounces. I don't know what 2.4 ounces is. I should have brought my scale. So she said this is 8. 
So it'll be like um milliliters. What is 130 milliliters? Let me look it up real quick. Milliliters to ounces. That's four ounces. Oh no, that's right then. Because it was what 2.4? 2.48. 4.8 how much is that <laughs> a whole math lesson <sighs> so i added my developer i have my developer in here I'm going to add my what's this called my high color this is hard to do with one hand so i'm just gonna like squeeze it and then i'll come back i mixed the well i didn't mix it but i poured it in i wanted to change first before i started because it says as soon as you mix it to like start. That's what it looks like right now. I look, you have a lot of hair. I should've got a bigger developer. I don't know why I got the small developer. I did not expect it to smell so strong. It smells like bleach. This better not be bleach in this guy's. Almost mixed up, still a lot of clumps. Can you guys see? Oh, I literally have to detangle it real quick. And I can't wet it, my hair. Detangling my hair while it's dry is so hard. Look at this. My hair hurts when it's dry. I should have done this before I mixed the dye. See, the, this is the, where I had dyed, where I had bleached my hair. I'm going to separate it in half. And then I'm gonna separate the back from the front. Just mixing it a little bit more. So I took a shower, rinsed off the hair dye. This is how my hair looks. Where's my color? It's barely there. So this light part is because it was from the wolf dye thing that I tried and then I put my brown dye back in. Like where is my color? Anyways, middle of straining it. Now I'm gonna wait like a week and I'm gonna retry. I'm kind of annoyed because I really wanted this color to work out. It's giving more like a red burgundy under certain lighting. Hopefully next week when I redo it, it comes out the actual color that I want. Like what is it? Where is my color? Should have got 30, or at least 20 developer. Cause I, I got 10 because I was scared of it bringing, I was scared of the dye being too bright. So I got 10 developer, but I should have just got 20 or 30 or even 40 because 40 was the recommended. But I'm going to wait it like a week and then I'm going to retry dyeing it. So it's the next day. I straightened my hair last night. Honestly, it did not come out good at all because I was kind of rushing. I just wanted to get to sleep. But this is how my color turned out. Only the front is like the color that I wanted. The rest of it is like a reddish, barely. So I'm going to redye. I bought the products. I bought the products to redye my hair. Hopefully it comes out right this time because I just spent a whole nother fifty dollars. It was like sixty dollars yesterday for the products. It was another fifty today. I should have just went to the salon. Not me trying to save money and spending more than what I would have at the salon. So I got shampoo and conditioner because I had none. And then I got, I got 
two more um what is this two more of the high color bottles and then i got 30 developer this time so the one that i had yesterday i got 10 so today i'm gonna do 30 i feel like 30 should be good the recommended is 40 but that's more like bleaching level i did more research so 40 is like more bleaching the developer is the, sh the amount of shades that your hair lifts so your natural hair color 10 10 lifts your hair one shade 30 lifts your hair three shades 40 lifts your hair four shades if that makes sense 40 is more like bleach i watched this girl's video on youtube she was saying she's a hairstylist she was saying that 40 is more like it's not bleach per se but it is like it's giving bleach so i'm not i don't think i'm gonna put that much hair color on the front part maybe i like at the roots my roots remember when i said i was not gonna put no hair color on my roots so yeah it's very much my natural hair color if you take away this front of my hair my hair basically has no color in it i hope it goes right today so i'm not if it doesn't go right i'm gonna just leave you i'm not gonna do it again i give up i'll probably go to the salon i strained my hair on live yesterday on tiktok i don't like how this looks like this it was cool when it was like blonde it gave like that wolf look but it looks crazy just these parts red <laughs> it looks bad like this today hopefully it comes out good look at how bad i strained my hair it's so bad so i'm gonna change my shirt and put on clothes that i don't care about so i can start the process of dyeing my hair for the second time and hopefully this time it works out and i get my copper shade that i want so let me get you change okay so i'm back i put on this shirt that i don't care about and now i'm going to start my hair okay i think i did it half so start with the bottom so starting with the bottom should i already section it into thirds Okay, so I put a shirt on here straight, so it should be a little bit easier to dye. My arms, today was arm day at the gym, and my arms are gone. And now they're about to be even more gone after I finish dyeing my hair. The pigment. These tubes are so hard to squeeze out. Like, why are they so hard to squeeze out the product? It's very thick. Those, um, the color pigment, whatever, is very thick. So that's why you mix it with the developer. It's getting a little bit better. Like, the consistency is getting a little bit better. I'm not trying to spill it. Okay, so I feel like now it's good. Like, it's thick, but it's also, like, smooth. And a disclaimer again, don't listen to me because I'm no hairstylist, clearly. So this is how it looks. I'm about to put my gloves on and then I'm about to start dyeing my hair and it better work this time. I got gloves for my mom's cleaning supplies because I don't have any hair gloves. I don't know if there's a difference. The ones that I had yesterday came with the bowl, the mixing bowl. So Lord, please have mercy on my hair. I think I'm gonna put it in a plastic bag so I can like, I don't know, I feel like it's gonna help. The heat is gonna help process a little bit. Or should I not? Cause I also heard that if you put it in a plastic bag, your roots get lighter faster because the heat from your scalp. I'm looking like just gonna blow dry a little bit. Should I? Yeah, I'm gonna blow dry a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna wait like 10 to 15 minutes wash my hair and then we'll see how my color came out 
better have came out good. So this is how my hair came out. I'm trying to take this in right now because I'm really a ginger right now, <laughs> like a ginger head. Okay, so it's very uneven. The back is really dark still. Just the front and the roots lighted, got light pretty easily, but my, the back of my hair is still pretty dark. This is what it's looking like. I'm gonna show you guys the back to see how much darker it is. What the back looks like. I think there's a part right here somewhere. I'm not sure exactly, but there's a part like right here where it's very bright. I feel like the back is super dark. Let me get a mirror. I feel like it's so dark in the back but i mean i like it i'm just trying to get used to it right now because this is i haven't seen myself in a different hair color in so long i'm trying to get used to it but it's cute other than the fact that it's all uneven like right here it looks very bright hopefully when it dries the bottom since the bottom is really wet right now hopefully when it dries it'll be like more lighter like the rest of the hair like it a lot why are they why are they so loud upstairs oh my gosh okay so i'm just gonna style my hair and then i'll come back when it's styled oh my gosh this is very uneven i kind of just want to get another box dye and fix this real quick tomorrow because this is crazy look it's very uneven um right here like you can literally see there's like a cut off right here i think i'm gonna give my hair a break because i literally dyed it yesterday Strained it yesterday and then dyed it again today. Me straining my hair was completely unnecessary, but I was gonna stay with that color for a while. But I was just like, let me fix it, or let me try to fix it. So I'ma just keep my hair this color. But I'm gonna go shower, style my hair, and then I'll come back tomorrow to show you guys how it looks. Hey guys, so it's been like, probably like three, four days since I straightened my hair. I'm gonna some light. And I've been loving it. It's so cute. And I think this color was made for me. Not to toot my own horn, but it looks really good. I'm obsessed with how it came out. I'm probably gonna wash it today or tomorrow. And then we'll see how it looks curly because I feel like it'll look a little different. Still cute though, but Anyways, guys, just to end the video on like a good note or like a disclaimer note, whatever. I'm not a hairstylist. I am not a professional. None of that. I just did this because I thought I was saving money. Actually, I did save money because I was probably going to spend like $200 on dyeing my hair at the salon. But so anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this whole process of me dyeing my hair i am satisfied with my end result and make sure you guys tune into my next video which is coming in like a few days thank you guys so much and bye